Samsung has stuffed a lot of features in the Android for firmware that they have on their devices that they call Samsung Experience. A lot of these features are very, very useful and virtually required by some people. However, there are some features that a lot of people just don't like, don't enjoy, or just have no need for. Personally, for me, I'm not a fan of the always-on display. Whenever I set my phone down on the desk, I just want it to be, you know, black. I want it to be locked. I don't want to see the time changing. I don't want to see notifications popped up. If I want to know that there's no notification, I'll look at the LED, the notification LED, or I'll press the power button to look at the lock screen. That's just my personal opinion. So whenever I get a new Samsung device, I always want to go in and disable the always on display. Another benefit of disabling the always on display is that it will save you a little bit of battery life. I'm not gonna say that it will give you an extra hour of screen on time but it might give you an extra 20, 30 minutes of standby time. It might give you an extra 5, 10, 20 minutes of extra screen on time. It will all depend on just how much you use the always on display feature. Everybody uses their phone differently. differently. We all have different apps installed and settings set up. So it'll be different for everybody. However, you will preserve at least a little bit of your battery life by disabling this feature so if you do not have any use for the always on display enjoy a little extra battery life and let me show you how to turn it off so since this is a feature that is built into the Samsung experience firmware we're gonna go ahead and launch the settings application now you would think that the since it is the called the always on display, the feature is going to be in the display, but it's actually more of a lock screen feature. So we're going to scroll down a little bit and then tap on the lock screen option. Then right here to the top, right before the clock and information section, you can see there's just a simple option and a toggle for the always on display. So before we turn the screen off, we can see the always on display appears. Whenever we disable the always on display feature by tapping the toggle, again, when we lock our device, this time the always on display is not going to come on. So again, the, disabling this feature is going to save you a little bit of battery life. A little bit. Not, again, not a whole lot, but it will save you some battery life. And for those who just have no use for the always on display or find it to be annoying, this is the area in the settings that you will need to go to turn off the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 always on display feature.